the president's son appearing in an Arkansas courtroom today. The hearing related to a years-old paternity dispute after the mother of his child, London Roberts, accused Hunter Biden of ignoring earlier court orders and withholding evidence. Now the judge says Hunter must answer more questions about his investments, art sales, and other financial transactions as part of the child support case. He will also sit for a June deposition, where he'll be questioned under oath. You can't say, these are my tax returns. Good luck. You figure it out, the judge said, ordering up details on Hunter's taxes. This cryptic hide-the-ball game isn't going to cut it when we get to trial. What began as a 2019 paternity case, morphing into a battle over Hunter's overseas business dealings, the now infamous laptop, and other financial issues, all as Hunter faces scrutiny from both criminal and congressional investigators. Republican lawmakers have launched a sprawling probe into the Biden family's business dealings, seeking many of the same financial records London Roberts is trying to access. Well, we found a lot that's certainly unethical. We found a lot that should be illegal. The, the line is blurry as to what is legal and not legal with respect to family influence peddling. Last week, Hunter's lawyers met with Justice Department officials as prosecutors weigh whether to bring charges related to failure to file taxes, tax evasion, and a false statement charge related to a gun purchase. Sources say Hunter has maintained his innocence. I am absolutely certain, 100% certain, that at the end of the investigation that I will be cleared. As for the paternity case... Hunter! Hunter initially denied fathering the child, but a DNA test confirmed he is the biological father. Hunter has since agreed to pay child support, paying $750,000 to the mother so far, his lawyer said in court. Now, the judge also told Hunter's attorneys they must make more of their court filings available to the public. She said that she has been generous in allowing many of the sensitive details of this case to remain under wraps. But the judge said in court today, quote, I can't gag the whole world.